All right, we have a beautiful day here in Eastern Ohio, and we are wrapping up stage three pre-polish and getting ready to start the final stage polish. All right, okay. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but there we go. There's our rocks. I'm gonna check and see that we can see that. Okay. So, let's start rinsing them off. Just a heads up, I live by a state route, and it seems like every time I film something out here, a bunch of big trucks go by and make a lot of noise, and there was a train going by earlier. So, we gotta clean off our rocks, clean out our bowl. Good and the vibratory tumblers they look shiny even after just pre polish. So hopefully, they'll be a little better after the final, final stage. This out again. Nice thing with this being smaller than the tumbler is it takes much less time to clean this stuff off. Good. All right, we'll go inside, double check them, and get them ready for the last stage. All right, we're inside. Now we're going to double check our rocks. I still think this is going to be a really nice one. Um, see if we can get that focused. Yeah, that's going to be pretty nice, I think. That's, that's a pretty rock. All right. This one's got some rough spots on it, but it'll still be pretty nice. Here's that one that drives me nuts because I I th keep thinking there's grit on it because it's it's got white and gray spots on it, but yeah, there you go. Uh, just a few random thoughts about tumbling. Uh, if you are impatient, this is not the hobby for you. Uh, the, the vibratory tumblers are the fastest there are, and basically there's three days in the stages for these. That's a really nice piece of uh, tiger eye. I think that's going to come out really nicely. Here's another one. Uh, for the last stage, I'm going to put in as much uh, cushioning as I can, so I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of ceramic media in there with the rocks. Here's that piece of amethyst. It's kind of got, it's got a clear spot in the middle of it. This is, this is a neat rock. Now a lot of these were rocks that I had actually tumbled before, but if they went into this batch there was something I wasn't happy with. Um, and it looks like uh, a lot of them that had frosting on them, this, this next tumbling has helped. Once again, I have no idea what this stuff is, but it, it seems to come out really nicely. So, we'll see how this one comes out. These look good. The sound in the background is my 12 pound rotary doing step one. Uh, I, I checked it yesterday and there's a fair number of rocks in it that I think have some real potential. So hopefully uh, in a few weeks we'll have 
we'll have some more ready to go into the uh, into the lotto. I do need to do a thumbler tumble though because I have some rocks that I really think are too big to put in the lotto. Uh, I'll tell you the nice thing though with the lotto, it's smaller. Uh, you know, I was outside for probably five minutes. The lotto, it probably takes me 20, 25 minutes because it, by sheer volume, it's uh, four times the size of the lotto. So you're dealing with a lot more rocks. Uh, it's just a little, a little more work. Here's that green rock. Looks pretty shiny right now. We'll see how it comes out at the end. It wasn't bad uh, before, but we'll see how it comes out. Here's a piece of uh, red tiger eye. I don't know if you can see the, the chatoyance, the way the, the light kind of reflects differently in the different layers. I think that might be it for the rocks. Okay. And once again, uh, I bought bought this to make it easier to put stuff in this and once again I forgot to use it with the rocks at least so we will use it to put the ceramic media back in and it's amazing you know when I when I get all this in there it's going to look like it's actually overfilled. But honestly, I think it was a little low. It wasn't, no, there was one rock that was hiding. Um, it's going to look like it's overfilled, but when I opened this up, it was, prob it was probably underfilled. Uh, starting from about last night, it wasn't moving very well. Uh, so I think that, you know, you. You wear, you wear down the rocks, they're smaller when you finish, they take up less space, and the, the vibration, in order for it to work right, you've got to have the, the, you got to have the contact between the rocks and the weight forcing the move. Okay, there's all that. I got some more in here, this, this has a tendency to, and I'm, I'm going to add more of the smaller and more of the smaller media. Okay, so there you see, well, it, maybe you see, probably need to, here, let's bring this out here. There we go, it's, it's actually overfilled. If I shake it down a little bit, it goes right in. Okay, and just like before, now I'm going to dump the water out, and then we'll move over and put the grid in. I'm thinking about uh, doing a video where instead of uh, instead of actually showing tumbling, just talking about if you are just starting up, what you're going to need. And talking about you know what should you actually buy. Uh, although I, I'll say I'm not going to talk about different brands. To be honest, with you I have three different brands of tumblers, and I have no complaints about any of them. I don't think you could go wrong with any of them. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I'm not, if, you know, if you have Thumbler and I say Lortones are good, I'm not saying that Thumblers are bad. I, I think they're both fantastic. But if you like that idea, put a comment. If I get the request, I will do the video. 
All right, we're gonna move over to the tumbler. Okay, with uh, the final step, first up I'm using cerium oxide, and just like with pre-polish, I'm gonna use a half teaspoon of it. So there we go, we've got our cerium oxide, and I'm going to also use a tablespoon of borax. Put that in. Okay. And let's turn it on and see what we've got. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the movement when it turns. Let me get a little closer so we can get a better look see. My man cave is not nearly big enough, uh, you can probably tell, but then again, are they ever? Okay, here we go, ignition. You can see it moves really well. I want to add a little bit of water, just get things going. And that, that will spread out and become a slurry. And three days from now, we will check out what we got in terms of the final, final results. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in three days.